Jonathan. On on the note of the of the pre flood Earth, do you think there was an Arctic? Like there was uh, ice because you talked about the the dinosaurs that were fr frozen in permafrost. Were those preserved during the flood? After the flood, what was basically the whole deal? With that? Well, there's been some great work done on the. Uh, conditions of the atmosphere during the flood. The Bible says that he separated the waters below the sky from the waters above the sky. And so I personally think that those, you put waters above the sky. You've flown in an airplane, obviously you came here from Michigan. Did you look at the window on the way here and see the frozen water on the window? You put water up that high, it's gonna freeze. Now I don't know if the canopy was in vapor form or was frozen, but it certainly provided a hot house environment because we find in the fossil records uh, dragonflies, and Dr. Baugh is going to do some experiments with dragonflies in the hyperbaric chamber with huge wings, wingspans, right? Shrimp the size of lobster, uh, uh, ferns that were 200 feet tall. Those don't grow today. Why? We don't live in a hot house environment. So it's obvious from the fossil record that organisms were much larger in the past, probably because of that canopy.